Well, good morning, children. Uh, in our last lesson, we learned how to write a complete, simple sentence. So our complete, simple sentence, if you want a clue, this little guy will give you a hint. Our complete, simple sentence last time was, I like the cat. Now remember, if we just write the cat, that is not a complete sentence because it doesn't give us a complete picture or idea about what your sentence means. Today, we're going to learn how to expand that sentence. And I think this little guy right here, Daniel, my cat Daniel, might be some good inspiration for us. So the learning target today is I'm learning to write an expanded sentence. Now, I, let's repeat that learning target together, okay? When I go like this, I speak. When I go like this, it's your turn to repeat what I just said. I'm learning to write an expanded sentence. Good. For the word expanded, let's go like this. Okay. When I say expanded sentence, Think about your word wall or your word chart that we have, and also think about our conventions rubric that tells us what we want to include in our writing. Okay, when we sound out a word, it's like a rubber band. We want to stretch it out when we're sounding out a word. Just in that way, we want to stretch out our sentence. So that's why the arrows are pointing this way and this way. So what I'm talking about is if we write the sentence, I like the cat, our reader might have some questions for us because remember when we write, we always write so that someone else can read what we wrote. It's another way that we can communicate or talk to people. So if I'm writing, I like the cat, what question, if you're the reader, might the reader have? What would be your follow-up question if you're having a conversation with me and I say, I like the cat, what question might you have for me? Think about inside your head. Hmm. Well, think about it this way. If I say, I like this cat, what would your question be? You're right. Your question might be, why do you like the cat? So what we're going to do in our expanded sentence, which means to make longer, is we're going to answer the question, why? And there's one or two ways that you can do that. Okay, we're going to talk about the one way today using the word because. Okay, because is a word you use a lot in your writing. Because sometimes what we want to do is anticipate what our reader might ask. Okay, we want to answer their questions before they ask those questions. So if I say, I like the cat, what we're going to do is erase the period because we're not done with our sentence. We're going to make it longer, okay? We're going to stretch it out. We're going to write an expanded sentence. It just means that we're going to write a longer sentence. Let's repeat that learning target so that we stay on track here. I'm learning to write an expanded sentence. So if we're going to write, I like the cat, we're going to write the word because after it. And I'm going to use a pink marker because just like our learning target, that's our learning goal for the today. And they expanded here. This is the word that's going to help make our sentence longer. So I'm going to use pink so that you can see it. If you don't know how to write the word because, you can use a word wall, word chart, ask a parent, or you can just copy it right here. Okay, this is the word you're going to want to use when you're writing an expanded sentence. So here's the word because. You know what? Because is a big word. I'm not sure if I will have space here. So I'm going to try to fit it in because I think I might. But if you don't 
um, if you're not sure if you have space on this line, you can always go down to the next line. And remember, we write from left to right. So because, big line down, bump, B, cause. Oh, 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 barely, 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 barely made it because, hmm, I don't know if you can see that very well in your writing, so I'm going to go over it in black, but we do know that it's written in pink here, because, because, okay, and then I'm going to underline it in pink. This is our goal for today. This is what we're going to use to make our sentence longer. Now, I can go lots of directions in answering that question, okay? I like the cat because, hmm, what are some things that you might add to your sentence? Take a moment and think about it inside your head. What might you say about the rest of this sentence? You could even use this little guy, Daniel, as inspiration. This is Miss Fury's cat right here. Okay, do you have some ideas about some things you might write? Remember, there's no wrong answer. You're the writer, you're the author. So whatever you write, it works for me and it will work for your reader too. They just want to know why you like the cat. So I like the cat because, hmm, I'm gonna write about this one. I like the cat because he is, hmm, I think he is friendly. I think that's what I'm going to write. So. We already have the first part of our sentence, and what good writers do is go back and reread over and over and over again. So let's go back so I know what to write next, because sometimes I lose my, my place. So that's why I use my finger and go back and reread as I write. I like the cat because he. Now he is a sight word. How do I spell he? You're right, H-E. <sighs> E. It's one of those sight words that you can sound out. A lot of words you can't, like because. You just can't sound it out. You just have to know how to spell it. But he, you can sound it out. I like the cat because, I don't need a space because I'm on the next slide, he. Lowercase letters because I'm in the middle of a sentence. I like the cat because he is okay what goes between our words a space so let's put a space there because he is and i can't remember what i was gonna write hmm oh, that's right i was gonna write friendly but you know what i'm gonna go back and reread to make sure that i'm not missing any words in there so go back and reread with me would you okay i like the cat because he is friendly. Now let's sound out that word because sometimes it might be a word you know how to spell. Sometimes it's not. A lot of times it's not. So let's stretch out the word the way that we're expanding our sentence. We're going to stretch out that word by slowing our mouth down and figuring out the sounds that we hear in that word. Let's uh, count the sounds in that word first. F er and Lee. Oh my goodness, six. Okay, I heard six sounds, so I'm going to write six lines. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have spaces in between these lines because it's all one word and we only put spaces between our words and not in our words. Okay, this is a big word, but you know what? When we chunk it up this way, we can do it. So let's sound out that word friendly. Okay, f, 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 what letter is that? Yep, F. f. Okay, f. R, R. Notice how I'm going back and using my finger to track the word the way that I would when I'm reading a sentence. Okay, that way I don't lose my place. F, 
er, eh, eh, <gasps> e. Hit the ball, run the bases, and stop. Okay, back in the beginning again. F, er, eh, d, f. Not sure about that. I think I might have mixed, uh, gone ahead a little bit. Let me go back. F, er, eh, hmm. Friend, mm -mm -mm. you're right, Ed. Friend, okay. Er, eh, d, 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 d. Magic C is bump up higher, back down and bump. Er, eh, d, oh, oh. Oop, and I had an extra sound in there. Because it's not friendle, it's friendly. Friendly. Okay, let's make sure our sentence makes sense now that we've written an expanded sentence. Let's try it out. I like the cat because he is friendly. Does that make sense? Does that tell a complete story? It's a complete sentence and it, and it is expanded because we use the word because. Now what goes at the end of our sentence? Let's read it the writing way to make sure we have everything in there that we need. The same way we did with a complete simple sentence. I space like space the space cat space because there would be a space. He space is spray space not sprays space friendly period. Okay, now we got to go back and read it again. So we've got, we just read it the writing way to make sure that we have our spaces and our punctuation. Now we're going to go back and read it the reading way to make sure it makes sense. And then it tells a complete story. I like the cat because he is friendly. I think that that is an expanded sentence and that is as simple as it is. And there's a lot of different things you could have said to expand your sentence. Today, we practiced expanding our sentence using the word because. Let's go back and repeat our learning target. Okay, I'm learning to write an expanded sentence. Good, let's put that all together again. I'm learning to write an expanded sentence. And what word did we use to expand our sentence? <gasps> because, that's right. It's as simple as that. Who would have known? Sometimes things look a lot more challenging than they really are, children. And when we break it down into little chunks, we can all do it. All right, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.